Hey what's up guys, it's me Mike and this next video tutorial is going to be based on a uh, past and life tutorial on a form signature so it's like you see a, um, it's pretty much a black text that has a, a passing gradient or light going past it and it's based on animation and photoshop so I'm going to show you guys how to do it alright so this is from my last tutorial but I'm going to start off a new one you're going to want to start off from a basic form signature size so the one I use is 750 by 300 alright so um add your gradient so for this one I'm just gonna do red instead of green um it's like a dull red um you could use that red on my website it's uh the newest gradients I posted up on the front page um for this one I'm just gonna edit uh the gradient right here just give it like a nice cool gradient I'll show you guys how to do this in another video tutorial but I'm gonna use this effect that I chose here alright so um, what I'm gonna do now is kinda add some text and I'm not gonna use this, the font fairy dust because it's too thin you wanna use a, uh, a font that has good boldness to it like I'm pretty sure everyone has this um, Cooper standard I believe that is so just type in something like that just decrease the size just a little bit it's too big um, alright, cool. Mics. These are mics. Alright, so I'm just gonna move that over. Press OK. So there's my font. Not sure if you can see that, but it's right there. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now is create a new layer. Oops. Control Shift N to create new layer, or we'll just click that little thumbnail thing under there and just click a, a new layer. What I'm gonna do is select another gradient, so you can either use another red or silver or anything else. But I'm gonna use a red, but I'm gonna edit it, make it a little bright. Uh, oops. So something like that, kind of red, like that. You can save it if you want. Press OK. Alright, so next what we're going to do is uh, control click on that text layer, like that, so you get a highlighted version of it. And what we're going to do is go select the first layer. What we're going to do is create about a few layers of it. So pretty much like six or seven like that. So control shift N. Do that about a few times until you get to about six or seven. So I have seven. So I'm gonna start off on layer one, hold shift and bring it down like that. So you see a nice shape. Select number two. Uh, I'm gonna draw that out like that. If it doesn't look too right, if it looks too far away, you wanna make sure you kinda get that in as close as you can to the first one. All right, so that looks cool right there. this over hope you guys can see this so I might not need too many uh, layers for this one but all right so let's see I have about four so I'm gonna see how this plays out I'm gonna create about four uh, animation frames so if you don't have your animation window up just select window go to animation you should have it at the bottom so select about four animation frames. So one, two, three, four. All right. So the first one, go back into our layers, and we're gonna disable the first three and leave only the first layer one, which is the first gradient stroke we put on the text. And select number two, then disable the first one, put it back on the second one. Uh, do the same thing for number three, disable the first, put on a third, fourth, disable the first one, put on a last, and uh, I don't think we need the last frame, so I could take that one out. So we can kind of experiment to see how it's going to go. So if you can see it's one, two, three, like that. 
So if you want, we can add another frame. So we're gonna stop that. Oops. Uh, in between, let me see. Um, I don't know, but that's how you do it. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is kind of start from the beginning. We can kind of give it a delay. So control um, select. So kind of a delay, so but you kind of get that effect going right across. So you kind of get an idea of how to do it. I'm not gonna make it so perfect and everything, but you kind of get the idea of how it should look and how you want it to look. Now, if you ever want to edit it, just go back to frame one, select whatever frame you're working on. So let's say if you want to edit frame one and you want to work with layer layer one, uh. We're gonna give it, let's say, a drop shadow and a stroke, and give it a white stroke so you guys can see it, and put it to about one, like that, and uh, press OK. So that's only gonna be on number one. So if you press play, like that. So you kind of get the idea of animation, how it works. Um, do more video tutorials on it. There's gonna be another one after this set. More like a water effect all right so um that's pretty much how you do it so thanks for watching you guys please subscribe rate my video and i'll see you guys later peace